For head men's soccer coach Steve Franklin, coaching a young team can be a roller coaster, to say the least. This year's collection of Jaguars are among the youngest in the program's recent history, with a roster compiled of 20 underclassmen and just 7 upperclassmen. Entering his 15th year on the IEPY sidelines, Franklin has already experienced some ups and downs with this year's bunch. The Jaguars opened the season with a 2-1 overtime win over the University of Detroit before falling to a pair of perennial powers at last weekend's University of Kentucky Invitational. Despite losses to Big East and Conference USA foes, the Jaguars seem to be a better team because of it. We learned that um, they pressure pretty pretty hard. Um, top, top teams uh, played very well, and um, for the most part we stuck with them. I think we proved to UK and to Louisville that even though we're a young team, we can still put a lot of pressure and put up a good, a good battle. And despite the team's relative youth, there's no lack of talent on the 2009 roster. Seven starters returned from a year ago, including former all-league forward Eric Wigman and versatile defender Weston Hawkins. The sophomore class is long on experience and includes strikers Perez Agaba and Matt Guy, starting goalkeeper Tyler Kiever, and defender Yogi Snyder. Matty Guy and uh, Yogi Snyder. Yogi uh, hasn't played at all. Uh, willing to come in as a, as a substitute, and he probably plays more of an important role than he would if he was starting. Um, so from the standpoint of what are they giving us, they're giving us greater communication, giving us uh, more of a confident president presence on the field, and technically they've gotten stronger. That doesn't mean the freshmen haven't been thrown to the fire. So far, Emil Garcia and Michael Wignot have started every match in the back third, and Kyle Highland has shown why he was among the top preps in the Midwest. The Kyle Highlands um, and the Kyle Gentiles who are stepping into roles where uh, instant difference makers. And then you got two studs in the backfield in Emil Garcia and uh, Michael Wignut. Wiggy's coming off of two straight national championships and you've got Emil coming off of two uh, state high school championships. So they bring that winning edge. The Jaguars will continue to prepare for Summit League play beginning with Cleveland State on Friday, September 11th. As part of Super Jaguars Weekend presented by Indiana Members Credit Union, IUPUI Athletics is asking fans to cram Koontz as part of Pack the House Night. Special giveaways will take place during the evening and that match can be seen live on IUPUIJags.com as part of IUPUI Live.